911 emergency. There's a really bad accident on the interstate. Where's the wreck at? On the interstate. Where's that on the interstate? At the airport exit. Is anybody hurt? Two cars hit a large truck and there's liquid spilling out of the truck. Do you know what's leaking out of the truck? Liquid is on the cars and the highway and you can't get through. Do you know how many people are hurt? Both cars have people in them and no one is moving. Okay, which way on the interstate is it traveling? Westbound on the interstate. Okay, okay I'll have some on the way. It's really bad. You need to hurry. Headquarters Engine 17, Rescue 6, Hazmat 20, Car 12, 1050 PI. You're on the interstate westbound at the airport exit, involving a truck with hazardous materials leaking. KII 313. Rest coming EMS 6, EMS 4, EMS 105, 1050 PI, westbound on the interstate at the airport exit, involving hazardous materials leaking from a truck. Rest com EMS 4, 10 4, 1050 PI, I 40 at the airport exit, EMS 4 and route. Raleigh C360, or 1050 EI, west now lane of the interstate at the airport exit. Signal 18 involving hazardous material leaking from the truck. Fire and EMS 1075. 10 4, 10 17. Raleigh 360, against 376. DOT 12, 10 4, 10 17. Incidents happen on North Carolina's highways every day, slowing traffic and sometimes closing roads. When incidents occur, responders answer the call to protect the injured and prevent further accidents. Incidents can range from a simple piece of tire blocking a lane to an accident involving hazardous materials. Whatever the incident, law enforcement officers, fire and rescue workers, emergency management and environmental officials, Department of Transportation workers, and tow and recovery companies must work together as a team. Highway incident management is a process that enables response agencies to clear roads and restore traffic flow as soon as possible. Don Goings, Chief Engineer of Operations with the North Carolina Department of Transportation, is a pioneer of highway incident management in North Carolina. We feel like this program can work. It coordinates the different agencies, it brings the people together as a team. We strongly support the program and hope everyone else will continue to support the program throughout North Carolina. The goals of highway incident management are simple. Keep traffic moving and clear the road. When incidents occur, Delays begin. Delays lead to secondary accidents and further injuries or fatalities. They also reduce the ability of response agencies to answer other calls. Delays also have an economic impact. The cost of lost wages, spent fuel, and under...